Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 40. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 35 to 39. Hey, trick number 40, someone said, hey, I got a bunch of names and scores and I want to just extract the five highest. I'm going to show you two ways. Uh, probably the second way is the better way. Um, if you scroll through the list, I've added some some conditional formatting to the five highest values. Now we're going to use the large function and I'm going to use advanced filter with a true false formula in this cell right here. The way this advanced filter trick works is you got to have a blank cell right there and then a true false and we'll use that for the criteria. Now let's look at this formula here. I'm going to hit F2. It's just an or with large. Large, it's looking through that whole um, range there and finding the first highest. This next large is finding the second largest. This third large is finding the third largest. And they're, each one of those larges is comparing it to the current cell. Notice as you copy this down, so as it goes down through the va values, it will uh, move relatively. That true false formula, it's an or. So anytime any one of these cells is either the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth highest, the or will deliver a true. If you were to copy this down a bunch, you could see how the advanced filter would interpret it. There is false, there is true, there is false. I'm going to control Z. As long as you have the uh, formula in one cell, you can use this trick. Uh, advanced filter, data, advanced. In 2003, it's data menu, filter, advanced filter. The keyboard shortcut that works Actually, the keyboard shortcut in 2007 is faster. It's Alt-A A for uh, data. Let me do that again. My cursor somewhere in the list. Alt. And remember, oh, look at that. A to get to data. And then Q to get to advanced filter. I forgot what the keyboard shortcut in 2007 is because this one's so much faster. My rule of thumb is if it's faster in 2007, then I memorize it. If the older ones were faster, I use those. Now, there's a couple parts to this. Hey, we want to copy to another location. The list range, you got to make sure that you have your range of all your values. The criteria range, I already got mine. I'm going to hit delete and then highlight. And you remember, you got to highlight that blank cell and then that true false. <coughs> copy to. I'm going to copy it to say right there two cells and then click OK and instantly it extract those. Hey, if you don't like advanced filter, there's a, probably an even easier way. Let's add filter drop downs, data, filter. In uh, 2003, you got to go to the data menu and go to filter. I'm going to click there. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut. You can see right there, control shift L, control shift L. I guess it's not working. I hope my video didn't turn off. Data, filter, and there it is. You have some drop downs at the top for filtering and uh, sorting. I'm going to click on this one, and you've got to be kidding me. Number filters, and then top 10. There's a built in. This is in earlier versions, too. And you can just say the top five. And this will filter it, which means the rows will be hidden. All, you can see it's blue uh, uh, row numbers, which means there's some rows hidden. Then you simply highlight, copy, and notice it is copying the visible cells only, and then click in some cell like right there and control V. So that's a uh, nice, quick, easy way. And then you could click back in the list and uh, go to your filter and say clear. There's our first one from our advanced filter. If I go down, control, shift, down arrow, you can see that those values are right there. Control, home. All right, we'll see you next trick.